guys welcome back to my youtube channel or welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here make sure to subscribe turn on notifications and follow me on instagram at amy's delicious dishes so what we're doing today is we are making some air fryer buffalo cauliflower bites these things taste so good and they're actually pretty easy to make i know it looks like i have a lot of ingredients but believe me when i show you you'll it'll be super easy So, this recipe is split into two parts. We have the air frying and the sauce dipping. So right here is for air frying. We have panko breadcrumbs. We have uh, flour, uh, flax egg, um, uh, cracked black pepper, garlic powder, paprika, cayenne powder, salt, and uh, of course our cauliflower. Uh, what we will need to do is for our panko, I split it into two because I'm going to be dipping these cauliflower into the panko later on, but I only want to use what's in this bowl here and I want to save some so that when this gets soggy, I can put more in and um, it's all uh, not soggy. So uh, I'm also going to end up doing the same thing for all of this. I have this bowl here, which I'll pour a majority of it into, and then I'll use this bowl here, which I'll put some of it into. So, to start off, what I'm going to need to do is move this off to the side, put this here. So, I'm going to take all of my flour, pour that into here, now this might overflow a little bit, but that's alright, pepper. Now, I'm going to take a spoon. I'm just going to mix it all nice and round. Just got to be super careful that it doesn't overflow too much. So I'll mix this all up and then we can move on to the next step. I've just finished mixing all the spices into my flour and now I have three different kind of batches. I have my flour, I've got my flax egg, and I've got my uh, pinko breadcrumbs. So what I'm gonna do here, actually, I'll make this in order. So I'll keep that here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take cauliflower. Let me get the spoon out of here. I'm gonna dip it in flour, coat it in the flour. So guys, this is a little bit messy job. So be ready to get your hands dirty, but coat it in flour. I'm going to put it in the flax egg. Get it nice and wet. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put it in the panko. Get it nice and coated. Now, you can put some panko on afterwards, but uh, to me, I like panko better after it's been kind of uh, fried. It tastes a lot better. So, I'm just gonna put that on here. There we go. So now, that's one done, right there. So, I took my air fryer out. And uh, what I'm going to do next is make the rest of these. And what I'm going to do is um, be, uh, put in the air fryer and air fry it for uh, 13 minutes at uh, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And halfway through, so about 6 minutes, 7 minutes, I'm going to shake it around a little bit to get it kind of turned a little bit. And I'm just going to make enough to do one layer on the bottom of the air fryer. You don't want to stack them, otherwise not all of them will get cooked. So I'm just going to make enough for one layer on the bottom of the air fryer, um, fry it, and then I'll make another layer, make another layer, make another layer. So that's how I'm just going to do all of this, and then we can move on to making the sauce. I've just finished with all the cauliflower bites, and here's my last batch right here. They're looking nice and cooked. I've got them cooled down a little bit, but look at that. That looks awesome. The breadcrumbs are a little bit cooked, as you can see. It's nice and crunchy. And right here, I've just finished making my sauce. I had put in, um, this is step two, by the way. I had put in salted butter, Frank's Red Hot Sauce, honey, sriracha, cracked pepper, and salt. So um, that, that's really it. I just had to melt the salted butter, mix the rest of the ingredients in, and I got this nice red sauce. So what I'm gonna do, 
So let's take a plate right here. Okay, let me move this so I can show you. So I'm going to take cauliflower and I'm going to kind of plate it actually. I'm going to use two forks and just completely coat it. And I'm going to pick it up, place it right there. There we go. So that's one down. This is nice. It's a little thick, but not too thick, so it's nice for uh, coating these on. Put this over. And just pick it up. Put it on. Okay. I'm going to do that with the rest of these, and then I'll show you how to present it. So to present it, what we're going to start off with is some spring onions. I just cut some and I'm gonna sprinkle that on top here. Presentation matters just as much as the taste. You want it to taste good as well as it looks good. Okay, and then I'm going to take some gorgonzola cheese. getting a little bit of the finer crumbs. And last but not least, blue cheese dressing. Now this I'm gonna try my best to just do a kind of a zigzag jiggle, drizzle on. That's great. And there you have it some delicious buffalo cauliflower. Let's go try it out. This presentation looks awesome, and let's just try it out. Oh wait, one thing, before I uh, try it out, I just wanted to say the entire recipe, if you got confused about any part, if I um, missed anything, it is all down in the description and below. And hey, while you're down there, why not just click that red subscribe button? It helps me out a ton and it's free. So right here, I like when I felt it, it felt very crunchy. I like how we have the red color with the little sprinkle of green and a little bit of white. It really looks great together. And um, all together, let's just try it out. Look at this piece. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow, that is so good. The crunch of it is awesome. The panko really added so much. When I put the panko on top and baked it, or uh, fried it, I didn't expect it to get super crunchy, but this is like so good with the crunch. I really like the spice. I'm a big fan of spice. So I really like the spice from the sauce. If you don't like it too spicy, you can always take a little bit of the cayenne out so maybe only do half a teaspoon but all together i love it the gorgonzola dressing or sorry the gorgonzola cheese uh crumbles and the blue cheese dressing mix very well together and all the flavors they just like play one at a time in my mouth and go very well together if you try this out yourself let me know how it turns out in the comment section below thanks for watching bye